Good afternoon. I hope you are well. For those of you who are new to my channel, hi, I'm Kwok. I'm a second year at Oxford and I study law. Today is Sunday, so I thought that as a break from my studying, I would bake some banana muffins. I've got all my ingredients laid out here and I'm sat outside right next to my desk because there's sunlight. For something to talk about while I was baking, I decided to tell you guys about my first year at Oxford and how I found it and just my whole experience. I wanna give you a very honest review. We're gonna cover everything from freshers week to the workload to the teaching style and how I found the tutorial system, making friends and the social life at Oxford, whether the whole posh Oxford stereotype holds up. Okay, I'm gonna start off with my flour and my baking soda. Gotta mix the dry ingredients first. So, freshers week. Going into uni, I was very nervous about how Freshers Week would be. People tell you that it's a time where you should get out of your comfort zone and try and push yourself to do all the things that are on the agenda. Meet as many people as you can, make as many friends as you can, because it's your time to really socialize. I don't think that's necessary. Every night of Freshers Week, there was a club night. Some people signed up for every single club night and went out clubbing every night. But for me, I was like, mm, I'm not gonna be able to actually function during the daytime. So I picked the best night to go out on Freshers Week and I decided to just go to that club night. With social activities, if you're not comfortable with doing all of them, don't force yourself to. I had a great time on my night out and um, was actually well rested for Freshers Week. Okay, we're gonna move on to the bananas. One thing that's particular to Oxford, I think, during Freshers Week, we were also set like a full reading list and two essays to write. When you're in the middle of Freshers Week, which already can be quite a stressful experience in itself, and you've got your first essays to write, it can be very disorienting. Being set academic work that week definitely made me less able to actually enjoy all the social activities that were going on, uh, which is unfortunate. People say that Freshers Week sometimes is a time where you meet your friends that are gonna be your friends for the rest of uni time, but that's just not true. You have the rest of your whole degree to make amazing friends and meet amazing people. Overall, my Freshers Week experience was a very positive one. I think it's all about doing the activities that you're comfortable with. There's definitely no pressure to have to go all out in Freshers Week. Just take it easy. <laughs> Let's talk academics. I felt like first year really chucked me in the deep end. Law is something that I had never studied before, so I felt like when I was given my first reading list, I, it, it was just material that I had. <laughs> so I felt like when I was given my first reading list in constant, what the fuck? <laughs> keep going, keep going. No, I can't go. <laughs> okay. That's fine. I just have my dad sitting in the background. <laughs> I think with essay-based subjects, especially like the one I do, we had at least an essay a week and every other week we had two essays. So it was one, two, one, two. Our terms are eight weeks long. So honestly, it's not such a long time. I just really had trouble with keeping up my stamina for eight weeks because the workload is so extremely intense that I felt like if I had a Wednesday deadline, I would spend the entire weekend sort of troving through all my textbooks all day, and I just never gave myself time to breathe. Over the course of first year, I wrote something like 60 essays in total, which sounds crazy, but I felt like my perfectionism really got in the way of me completing my tasks and then just moving on. I felt like every time they gave me a reading list, I needed to just make it through every single case on that reading list or every single reading and doing that compromised on detail a lot. So I definitely don't feel like I got the most out of self-learning. And it was very stupid of me not to go to lectures because <laughs> during Freshers Week, one of the second years, who was also a lawyer, told me that it was completely useless to go to lectures, so I shouldn't go to them at all. And I took his word for it, and I didn't go to any lectures in first year, and that was a very, very bad shout because I felt like I was just trying to grasp for very abstract concepts in the dark, and I definitely felt like I should have gone to more lectures rather than just relying on the tutorials. Let's talk tutorial system. The bulk of the teaching goes on through tutorials where you sit down with your professor once or twice every week. Um, it's you and one other student and you talk for an hour or 
or two about that specific topic for the week. And usually you'll have done an essay for it, so you'll talk about the arguments that you made in your essay. I found the tutorial system really, really difficult to get used to throughout my first year. I don't really think it got any better as I progressed through the terms. And I think it was just mainly because tutors, of course, are there to teach you, but they assume that you have like a baseline level of knowledge. As someone who hadn't even encountered what parliament was before I went to the UK, having to study the intricacies of like political accountability through parliament was really difficult for me. I just like couldn't understand anything. So I felt like a lot of the time I was sitting in tutorials feeling like I should get more out of it but not even knowing where to start asking questions about what I didn't understand. Like I didn't even know what I didn't understand. So I think the tutorial system is really beneficial when you can actually understand what is going on. Once I've gotten to second year and kind of figured my way around it a bit, I've really appreciated the tutorial system because it means that when I don't understand something and I actually know what I don't understand, I can ask the tutor about those arguments. I would think I was also unfortunate to bump into some unpleasant tutors in my first year. Um, tutors in general, I've heard from my other friends and I've experienced now in second year, they tend to be very nice in general. I was sitting in a tutorial and I so happened to not have read this one case about trespass and my tutor asked me about it and neither myself nor my tutor partner, Ollie, could answer it. We knew the facts of the case and we knew what the judgment was in that case and what the decision was, but there was this one line that we had both missed in the judgment, and apparently that line was very important. But when our tutor asked about it, we both looked at each other and we were like, um, I, I read the case, but she was just like, I can't believe that you guys are so unprepared for tutorials. Like, I expect my students to have read all of the cases, and it's ridiculous that you don't even know what happened in this case. Um, which I don't think was entirely fair because both of us had done the reading. We had just not known that it was something we had to look for. So she did get genuinely angry at us and then after that sent us an email being like, You seem eager to learn from me, yet you attend tutorials without having done the necessary preparation. Finals is a big step up from first year exam and you do not appear to be making any effort to climb onto that step. If your essay next week is not of a satisfactory standard, I will refuse to teach you and will not reschedule the tutorial. When I was already having like a very strong imposter syndrome-esque mindset where I was like, oh, I'm trying so hard, I'm working so hard, but everybody around me is somehow still smarter than me, I need to work harder. When someone tells you that you're still not working hard enough and you're still not good enough, it doesn't feel good. That was probably the biggest academic brick wall I hit throughout the year. From that point onwards, it made me really nervous to go to tutorials and I would always think that I hadn't done enough preparatory reading for the tutorial and I would always like hand in essays and feel like my tutors were gonna shit on them. It's just unfortunate that I happened to bump into tutors whose teaching style didn't really work well with the way that I learn. I know that loads of people have really positive experiences with their tutors and their tutors are extremely good teachers. A lot of the content that I was covering just didn't feel accessible to me when I was learning it and I felt like there was nobody there to guide me through it and I just felt like no matter how hard I worked, my tutors wouldn't be able to recognize that I was working hard but I was just confused. Overall, tutorial system is great. I really, really like it now, but I think in first year, it was really a source of stress and anxiety. Also, that's just for me because I got quite unlucky with my tutors, if that makes sense. Let's talk social life and making friends. I felt like I didn't have much of a social life in first year, and that's mostly to do with the fact that I got into a relationship in my first year, which in hindsight, probably wasn't the best for my time management skills and just like balancing the academics on top of the relationship on top of like trying to make new friends. So I felt like a lot of the time I could have spent making friends with people in my cohort, I, I wasn't spending doing that. I was like 
sort of centering my social life around one person. I did join rowing in my first year, which was awesome. I think joining a sport is such a good way to make friends and meet people from other year groups, and I felt like that was definitely one of the highlights of my first year. Sporting culture and society culture at uni can be really welcoming and such a good time. We raced in Oxford, we went for a race in Cambridge as well, probably my favorite weekend of first year. Um, taking the chance to join a sport or join a society in your first year is such a good idea. There's no point in overwhelming yourself with like five or six societies at once, but I definitely feel like one or two just to ease yourself in and have another way of making friends is a great idea. I personally really enjoyed rowing. Now that I'm in my second year, I've joined more societies, like I'm doing some law society stuff and I'm doing JCR student council stuff. But in first year, rowing was just such a needed outlet. At Oxford, the river's called the Isis. There's nothing like going out on the Isis at 6 a.m. and watching the sunrise. It's just so beautiful. For me, I spent a lot of first year feeling very self-conscious about the fact that I didn't have that many friends. Like I knew a lot of people and I felt like there was a lot of pressure from the adults and the people around me. And the common denominator for all of them was that they had met like the friends of their lifetime at uni, made these crazy good memories with them. I just felt like me being in the library for most days of my first year made me feel like I was really missing out on making some like, really incredible memories that I thought I was meant to be making. So I feel like unhealthy comparison was huge in my first year. Like most of my breakdowns would be centered around the fact that I was jealous of the uni experience that I thought other people were having and that I thought I should be having as well. Let's talk culture. I felt like when I went to Oxford, my impression of it was that there would be loads of really snobbish British people who were extremely posh and went to like posh schools and so they would talk in a way that I wouldn't really understand and they would use like slang that I wouldn't understand and that I wouldn't fit in. Um, that has proven to be not true. Obviously you'll find snobbish people, you just don't have to be friends with them. At Queen's, which is my college, there aren't that many international students, which is a shame, but a lot of other colleges have really big international student communities and you'll always find people who are like you and who you get along with. So there is no need to let the snobbish culture put you off. Let's talk mental health and setting standards for yourself. In first year, my mental health was probably the worst that I had ever experienced, especially after the tutor situation. I put a lot of pressure on myself to prove to them that I could do better and that I was working hard. The whole setting of Oxford being so academically focused and everybody always just seems to be working gives you the impression that you have to always be working too, but that's just so not true. A lot of first year was about me trying to get used to how much work there was. When you first come into Oxford, you feel like one essay a week and two essays every other week seems to be this completely unattainable workload. But the best thing is that the workload doesn't actually change throughout your degree, just your subjects change, but you have to write the same number of essays every week in first year and second year and third year. So it really only gets easier and I definitely have found that in second year, like my mental health is so much better because I'm actually spending time with my friends now and I'm telling myself that like perfectionism is really not gonna get me anywhere. I'm here to learn not to nail every single essay. And I now have really, really supportive tutors who are so nice. Sometimes I email them questions after tutorials and they always respond. So this is an example of when I emailed one of my contract tutors after a tutor. She was so nice about it and explained everything to me and even gave me a reading recommendation as a specific page number to look at. And then she went out of her way to look through the German civil code, which isn't even the jurisdiction that we're studying, and found the relevant sections in Greek law. And it was just really cool to know that if I was eager to learn and asking questions, then I had a tutor who was equally eager to go out of her way and answer them. There are so many diligent and intelligent academics at Oxford, obviously, and I feel so privileged to be able to take advantage of that as part of my learning now. I can make a whole other video about all the stuff that I learned in like 
my advice on how to manage heavy workloads because I feel like I've gotten it so much more sussed than before. First year was not ideal for, for that, I don't think. I've got all of my muffins in my tins now, so I'm gonna pop these in the oven. I swear to God I wasn't born to fight. Maybe just a little bit, enough to make me sick of it, but I have... We're gonna do a taste test. So these are fresh out of the oven. Everything but my legs won't work, it's clear to me. Mmm. Mmm. Using brown sugar was a good idea. It's so caramelly, it's like toffee. Mmm. Honestly, first year was definitely the toughest year that I've ever had to do in my schooling experience. First year was full of firsts. I um, matriculated into an incredible university. I bought my first subfusk gown. I experienced weird Oxford things like being trashed after an exam, learned to row properly, got into my first relationship and got out of my first relationship. I studied in my first university library. These are all sort of very small milestones that I accumulated over first year. And I think looking back on it now, how awesome is that? I feel like I've come into second year with such a different mindset on having a work-life balance. I feel like first year has taught me so much about how it feels to be fulfilled and do new things. That is everything I have to say about my first year at Oxford. I know that everybody's first year experience is different and I think everybody goes through slightly different struggles. It's sort of a rite of passage. You get through first year and you learn so, so much and you come into second year, I think, being a stronger and more intelligent person. If you've got any questions about uni or Oxford specifically, leave them in the comments. I'd love to answer them or maybe I'll get around to doing like a Q&A type thing if people would want that. Um, I definitely found those very helpful when I was applying, so I would love to help anybody who wants any advice. Thank you so much for watching if you've made it this far. I'm gonna go and finish the rest of my banana muffin now. I hope you have an awesome rest of the day, and I will see you next time. Bye! <laughs>